This video is a quick intro into Python for Excel. So I'm gonna go over how to install Python for Excel, how to install it in the back end if you can see the better version, and also how to make variables, data frames from tables, Power Query, and creating visualizations. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to File, Account, and you wanna see this Microsoft 365 Insider, and then in here you wanna change the channel to the better channel. Once you do this, Excel will download a new version, and then you're going to see in formulas the python icon and that means you're ready to get going and it's installed but if you can't see that insider in accounts you might need to go into the admin sessions in 365 if you're an admin go to the cloud policies and you have to set a new policy and the policy you need to set is show the option from microsoft 365 insider so once you get going, you just go equals PY and open a bracket and you've got this Python bar here where you can enter Python code in straight. So I'm just doing a one plus two here and this will result in a Python output. So this is a Python integer and it shows here in Anaconda. You can change that to an Excel value by just going to that box and change it to Excel value. What we can do as well is there is a new function called Excel once you're in Python. So XL, open a bracket and put some quotation marks in and in the quotation marks, just put in what you want to reference in Excel and you can use the Excel reference in your Python code. That's gonna be really useful for end user setting variables. What I'm doing here is I'm taking a table within the Excel function, setting headers and setting that to a variable. And this is gonna create a data frame for me in Excel. And you can see the data frame here. From the data frame, I can start doing some pandas operations. So I'm doing a describe function here on that DF data frame. And I'm gonna change this into the Excel value. And now you can see the output of the Python function here. And that's just getting some numeric statistics. I can also do other functions like value counts. And you might think, right, that's fine. You can do Python in Excel, but why can't I just use Excel functions? So I just wanna show you something which makes this really much more powerful. And that's integration with Power Query. So from Excel, we can go to data, get data, and pull data with Power Query from a number of different systems, databases. I'm gonna pull data from a very large CSV file. It's about a million rows, and I'm just gonna create a connection to that. So you wanna go load to only create connection, and this will create a connection to the CSV and this comes out in queries and connections. So I'm just gonna rename this because it's better not to have any spaces in here. I'm just gonna rename this car. And what I can do now with Python for Excel is I can turn that into a data frame without the data ever having hit my Excel notebook. And this is useful because performing data operations is so much faster in Excel and it can handle much more data and do a lot more things like machine learning. So this is a million rows in here. I can do my df.describe in Python just on the data frame and I get the output here. And the last thing I'm gonna do in this session is just create a graph. So there's a lot of visualization options in Python, but just for simplicity, I'm just gonna do a scatter plot that compares mileage to average price for the year 2021. And this comes out as an image, so you need to go in, go to picture and sell, place over sales, and now you can move this image wherever you want. So it's a lot more portable than some graphs that you might use in Excel. So I hope you found this video useful. I think this really opens up a lot of opportunities for working with big data in Excel. And in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna go over some machine learning.